This is Kashi OS, a brand new Arch Linux distro that offers an easy installation, several customization to suit every user and unique performance optimizations. Now in this video, we're going to take a quick look at the Kashi OS. Now starting with the installer, Kashi OS provide two versions of the installer. The GUI version is based on a Calimers installer and a CLI installer is for the people who don't need a GUI as the installer. Now this installer is very smart and auto detects which microarchitecture your machine got. If it's x86-64 v3 is detected, it will automatically use the optimized packages which improves the performance by 10%. Also, the installer offers offline or online models. The offline model allows the installation of the default packages with Plasma Desktop. And the online model gives a full control to the end user and let them decide to install their fancy kernels or other desktop environments. Kashi OS comes with KDE Plasma as a default desktop environment. Some of the KDE and Plasma tools are compiled with a set of flags to provide a better performance. Now apart from this, Kashi OS includes some good looking themes and beautiful wallpapers. Now, these themes are highly customizable. From multi-purpose themes to niche templates, you will always find something that catches your eye. Kashi OS comes with many open source applications that let you quickly get started. The default browser of Kashi OS is Kashi Browser, which is a fork of LibreWolf with some security additions and also compiled with more secure flags and performance improvement. Since it's based on Arch, you can use Pac-Man to install most of the packages. The Discover software further allows the installation of many useful items. Also, if you are a beginner and don't know the usage of Pacman, you can use the Kashi OS package installer, which helps you in updating repositories or installing packages. The default installation of Kashi OS contains Arch Linux kernel as a backup and Kashi OS kernel which is very similar to Arch Linux star kernel in terms of source and configurations but with a Kakula CPU scheduler. The Kashi OS also provides a set of kernels in its repository. You can easily install kernels with optimization via a kernel manager. It also allows you to configure your kernel and will compile it then, which makes it easier for starters that are getting into kernel compiling. When it comes to performance, I would say it's not that bad compared to Manjaro or other Arch-based distributions. I have noticed the optimizations made to the entire system 
seems to be delivering a solid or stable experience. The only problem that I had was with the Valen session. When I log into Plasma Desktop using Valen, the UI goes to freeze mode and won't let me use it. I need to force restart the PC and switch back to the X11 session to make everything work. Now, apart from that, app launching was smooth, no issues were encountered. Overall, I would say Cache OS offers some unique features that improves the performance of the Arch Linux and the Plasma desktop environment. Now, this distribution will sit in the top five list of best Arch Linux distros for sure. Now, if in case you are tired of Manjaro or Endeavor OS, give it a try with Cache OS and let me know in the comment section down below. Now, thanks for watching my video. This has been KSK Ryle. I'll see you in the next one.